Hi, this is Cindy from Dallas, Texas. Welcome to my channel. And if you're interested, this is the Ladies Bible Study Church of Christ. Please subscribe if you want to hear more lessons. Today, we're going to have serious lessons and then we're going to have fun lessons just for us ladies. And today, we're going to finish up our lesson on Did Jesus Live on Earth? We talked about Joseph Flavius, who was the, or Flavius Joseph, who was the Jewish ancient writer who talked about Jesus in the antiquities. We talked about Tacitus who was the Roman proconsul of Asia, who also mentioned Jesus in some of his writings. Today, we're going to talk about a pagan by name. His name was, I love this name. His name was Marbara Serapion. I don't know why I like the name. I just like the whole Serapion, you know, how that just rolls off your, your lips. Marbar Serapion. I like that. So anyway, he was a pagan and he uh, lived between 100 AD. Well, he actually wrote this document between 100 AD and 300 AD. He wrote a letter to his son from prison and he wanted to warn uh, his son about um, persecuting wise men. And it's very interesting when you read this because he puts Jesus along the lines of Socrates, who we all know was extremely famous and Socrates was very wise according to the world standards. And so he puts Jesus along these lines. Now he doesn't mention Jesus's name exactly, but he does say the King of Jews. And so we do know that oftentimes Jesus was referred to as the King of Jews. And so let me read what he says. He says, and I'm going to start right where he talks about Socrates. What advantage did the Athenians gain from the murder of Socrates? Famine and plague came upon them as punishment for their crime. What advantage did the men of Samos gain from burning Pythagoras? In a moment, their land was covered with sand. What advantage did the Jews gain from executing the king of the Jews? It was just after that their kingdom was abolished. And so one of the things, one of the points, there's a couple of points that you can get out of this. And I actually have a little PowerPoint here that I wrote. Flavius Joseph says the same references that Marbar Serapion says, um, where they talk about disbursement of the Jews and how it solidifies the observation that Jesus was indeed the king of the Jews. Um, and this, another point to think about, there's three points. Um, Jesus also, by that time, 100 AD, had already gained quite a bit of famousness, if there's such a word. He was famous for him to have put Jesus alongside of Socrates, who was extremely wise, and everybody, he was just this famous wise counselor, wise philosopher. Back then, Jesus was right there with him. Um, clearly, Mara Bar Serapion felt like Jesus was a real person, he was not this mystical person that people say, I mean, if you think about it, 100 AD, I mean, he just died. So you don't create a legend in 100 years, right? And that's why in some of these earlier writings, you don't see them arguing about, did Jesus live? Nobody back then was arguing if he lived. I mean, they knew he lived. Everybody knew he lived. That was debate that was not debatable maybe like some of the miracles he created were debatable maybe some of those things were debatable back then but everyone knew that jesus lived and with our three examples uh tacitus flavius uh josephus and now marbar serapion you know i like that serapion um i think we have three really solid historical historians that mention jesus that we can now say with even more confidence we already had confidence that there's evidence on earth non-christian writers that jesus did live well i hope you enjoyed our study today if you liked it go ahead and click subscribe let me get that word out of my mouth like serapion and also please share this video thank you so much